Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a roller set. I'm going to demonstrate how I perform a roller set. It's a basic own base roller set. I'm going to over direct the hair, place the roller, and roll it smoothly around and clip it at the base. We're going to do this all the way down the center of the head. One thing that I want to remind you to do is make sure that your base is the same size as your roller. Now, if you have any questions, please just comment below. One thing I do want to add, when you are doing a roller set or a perm, make sure you've got a squirt bottle there handy so that you can keep the hair um, the same porosity throughout your procedure. Also, pay attention to your parts. You want to make sure that you have nice and neat parts. You also want to make sure that your workspace is nice and tidy. And what I mean by that is, on the actual head, make sure the hair is come forward and out of your way so that you don't have chances of grabbing hair that you're not really wanting in that roller set. Until later, of course. As we finish this middle section down toward the nape, I want to get ahead of myself and talk to you a little bit about when you start to do the rollers on the side of the head. You're gonna go all the way to the back top section of each side and you are going to lay the roller and measure. And that first roller that you place in there is going to be like a stair step it's going to be a little pie shape and then you're going to put the second one a little further back toward the the back row and that's going to make a little side step what you're trying to achieve when you do the placement like this is you're not going to have to come back later and do that with rollers in the front and rollers behind it this is going to make sure that you don't work yourself into a hole a lot of people start their roller set on the side at the very at the very front of the head well you're going to have to work right back to those rollers that are already there because you went from the top all the way to the back what this is going to allow for is you to get those rollers clipped into the head and you're not going to have to touch that again. Whereas if that's a little section there, you're going to have to look for a little tiny roller and you're going to have to get your hands in between those two rows of rollers. So the mannequin's a little dry, so put some moisture on it, spray it down. We're going to turn our mannequin over and start that same process starting near the back with our first roller go to the top measure the length of the roller and do a pie shape again lay that in there pie shape neatly the the back is going to be a little more narrow then the front on that one section. And then it's also going to be a little shorter. I wish I would have recorded and, and shown you how that's gonna look. I have a diagram that I've written that I'll include in the video. Make sure your hair is clipped out of the way. Again, making sure that all of your bases are the size of your roller. I'm going to, oh, there you go. I did get a, get a picture of that. 
So you see how it zigzags or stair steps, however you want to call it, or whatever you want to call it. Continuing that row of rollers down behind the ear to the nape of the head. You can see that little bitty short piece. Somebody decided they wanted to give the mannequin a haircut and then I guess didn't have time to finish it, but I'm glad they didn't. That way I could work on this one. See the stair steps? And all you have to do is place your comb into that section. The part's already made for you. It, it really is simple once you do this. Now, you do have to clip in between those two rollers, but that's the only time that you have to bump up against another roller is when you're on that left side of the head. Or, unless you're left-handed, then it would be on the other side. You might notice that I use an all-purpose comb when I'm doing this. It's personal preference. I know a lot of people that use a rat tail comb, but I just like the feel of the all-purpose in my hand. I'm able to control it just a little bit better. That rat tail gets a little skinny and kind of flops around, so... Anyway, I like being in control of my work and my workspace. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Here's the diagram that you can use on the side of the head and make life easier.